wanted to make a quick video about 3D printers and talk about uh, the Ender 3 in particular. That's my favorite printer and the upgrades that I do on it. And then a little bit about the difference between a stock Ender 3, the Ender 3 Pro, the Ender 3 V2, and what I'm going to make with these parts here. Um, just quick and dirty, the upgrades that I like on an Ender 3 stock, uh, first and most important is not this <laughs> it's this the bed uh the bed is what you're going to be printing on this is what's going to control your adhesion and whether or not your part actually sticks in place uh, this is my favorite bed this is the ulta stick powder coated pei uh, spring steel these things are rock solid they're durable and they are really ideal for printing tpu if you do soft flexible filaments uh, this is perfect. Uh, the reason I like this the best, it sticks really well, it releases well, and if you have a part like TPU that sticks so damn good it doesn't want to let go, I'm able to get the TPU parts off of here without damaging the bed, as opposed to uh, something like this stock bed that came from uh, Creality that just peeled up because my print stuck so hard to it. Uh, so highly recommend the PEI powder coated from Ultistick for all your TPU needs. Now what if you print uh, hard plastics a lot like um, PLA, PETG, uh, are those similar? Then I recommend a PEI sheet. Uh, not necessarily the Creality sheet. This one is particularly thin. Um, but these are great for hard plastics. Um, the reason I don't recommend them for TPU is because this thin layer of PEI that's on top will actually tear. Um, this is not going to last forever. Uh, if you want something that's a little more durable, get like the Gizmo Dorks PEI sheets that are 0.55 millimeters thick when this little sheet here is only 0.2 millimeters thick. So it's almost three times thicker. Um, and you can apply the gizmo dork sheets to any uh, build surface that you have that are smooth So I'll probably print with this and if I tear it up Then I will flip it over Sorry, the magnet is stuck to the bottom I'll flip it over and I'll put a gizmo dork sheet on the bottom half if this one tears up on me But I don't anticipate any problems. I'll probably just be using this uh, And it does come with a 3m magnet so that you can stick your bed to it um, what's the next important upgrade that I like to do on my Enders, and that is this piece. This is the CME CNC EZR extruder. Um, it is the best extruder that I have found. Uh, what I really, really like about this is, number one, it doesn't slip. Number two, there's nowhere for the TPU to go. The, it goes straight through this and straight in and out the other end every time. Uh, you don't have any issues like you do with a stock extruder where you noodle out the side or it just starts slipping. Uh, no slippage here. Uh, the other reason I'm a big fan of this is it just makes filament changes so easy. I'm typically changing colors three and four and five times a day, each printer, and this just makes it super simple. I've found that I can even change the filament without clipping the end off most of the time, and I've even been able to do successful one-handed changes so while the stock extruder is pretty decent and if you've got it tightened down correctly it's not going to slip on you very much this one's better uh, it's a relatively inexpensive upgrade too it's like 35 bucks um, but highly highly recommended it just it makes life so much easier when you're changing the filament which if you're using your printer you're changing the filament often uh, and the last upgrade this one's optional but if you're a tweaker like me um, you want to modify things, you might want to add a BL touch, or you want to add a filament runout sensor, or you want to add a this or a that or a that or a this, then you want to upgrade your main board. Um, this is the SKR uh, 1.3 Mini E3 board from Big Tree Tech. Um, I really like this board because it has the TMC 2209 stepper drivers that are quiet and run cool. Uh, it's also really nice because it comes preloaded for the Ender 3. So 
if you're putting it on an Ender 3, you don't actually have to flash any firmware to use this. You can literally take it out, install it in place, and run it immediately without having to do any of the software firmware stuff. Uh, highly recommended, and the big reason I'm using this is just to make the printers quiet. Uh, I have a bunch of printers in my house, in my living space, and this guy has been printing the whole time, and yes, you can hear the fans going, but there's no laser battles. Uh, it just completely eliminates all that noise. Also, the steppers run nice and cool with the TMC2209s. And again, if you're gonna be tweaking and modding your printer a lot, then you're gonna want uh, something with a bootloader so that you can just quickly throw the new image onto a micro SD card, boot up your printer, and it immediately flashes itself. Um, so it's not required, but if you want your printers quiet, they're in your living space, and that's definitely an upgrade. Now, as far as do you buy an Ender 3 stock, an Ender 3 Pro, or an Ender 3 V2, and wh who, which printer makes sense for which type of person and what kind of printing you're going to be doing. Um, the reality is both the Pro and the V2 are upgrades from the stock, but in my opinion, they just don't upgrade the right way. Uh, First things first, they don't actually upgrade the extruder. They leave the stock extruder, and this is one that I recommend for everybody. So I feel like they're really missing out with that. The second upgrade that they do, or the, the, the first upgrade that they actually do, is the bed. Um, they give you a borosilicate glass bed to print on. And while borosilicate is nice, that's like a $20 upgrade, and I'm recommending a $45 bed. So... It's basically $20 wasted on a bed that's not quite as good as what I really want to use. And then the last thing that is in the um, upgraded uh, printers, Ender 3s, is they do include a 32-bit board, a silent board. Um, my problem with the ones that they include is they're using 2208 stepper drivers. And while those are nice and quiet, they are also hot. They, your steppers will run hot, which is going to decrease the life of your stepper motors. So I don't really recommend those. Um, again, I feel like it's a step in the right direction. They're upgrading a couple of the important parts. You get a better bed. You get a better board. You get the stock extruder. But you get a better bed that's not as good as the bed I recommend. You get a better board that's not as good as the board I recommend. And you still have the stock extruder. So it's those upgraded models are definitely good for somebody who wants to just take it out of the box and start printing and doesn't want to mess with a bunch of mods. But I kind of struggled with that because if you're going to be 3D printing, you're going to be modding stuff, you're going to be tweaking, and you're going to be fiddling with things. And if you're not, you're probably not going to be a very successful printer. So I really, really hesitate for anybody to recommend those upgraded uh, V2 Ender 3 or in the the uh, Pro Ender 3 just because they really uh, they spend your money in the wrong ways. Um, what I recommend instead is you get you a stock Ender 3. They're about 180 bucks. You spend uh, 35 bucks on that, 25 bucks on that, 45 bucks on that. And you're under $300 and you got a printer that's got all the goodies. Um, you know, you can still add to that if you want to be able to touch, you want to filament, run out sensor. Uh, you can add an enclosure to that thing. You know, you can just keep building on what you've got. It's a really, really nice base. And the Stock Ender 3 will print great. Uh, again, most of these are for uh, ease of use. Uh, the print bed really is um, a quality thing. You really, really do want to make sure your prints aren't breaking off or you waste a lot of time doing that. And this is also a, a quality and comfort thing. It's just going to make your life easier, especially if you end up wanting to do a lot of mods, tweaking your firmware and that sort of thing, which that's totally a me, me thing. Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, I highly recommend Ender 3. SKR 1.3 Mini is right here. The Easy R Struder and the Ulta Stick beds. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up or ask. Uh, I love to share my knowledge.